Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0, the release playthrough. Um, since the last episode, I haven't done too much. I went and got some more biomass. I had dinner, which, for those of you on YouTube, you'll be like, I hope you had dinner since yesterday, but for those of you on Twitch, you are like, oh, yes, you were gone for half an hour. In any case, uh, we're going to be working on getting reinforced plates automated in this episode. And so I'm going to remove all my Caterium stuff for now. So that it's out of the way. And we're going to put that... Hmm. I don't know where we're going to put that. I feel like this can be my Caterium box. Yeah. And bauxite. Let me take other stuff. Bauxite and quartz stuff can go in here. I don't need 30 random iron ore. In fact, I could research the bauxite, I guess. Um, no? No. That's not how this works. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so last episode we got all sorts of quality of life stuff. This episode, we will be back to the factory must grow. And indeed it will. So we're gonna get an assembler. I'm gonna work backwards here. I think I want... What am I doing? I think I want two of these running to produce reinforced plates to start. So I'm gonna work my way backwards from what that will cost. Uh, in terms of inputs. So if I'm doing the stitched plates, which I think is the plan, then I only need about 40 plates a minute and eh, about 80 wire a minute. That's not that bad. That's only two constructors of iron plates and three for wire, I think. How much do they do a minute? Uh, 30 a minute, yeah. So three for wire, almost two would be enough, but not quite, because these need, um, yeah, 37.5. So three of those, and then two for iron plates gets me 40 a minute, and we need less than that, so that's good. Okay. And now the smelters. In the future, I will have smelting being done at a different location than production. Once I can... Right now, the belts are just so slow that there's not really much else I can do. Uh, I'm going to build a few more of these, and then we're going to erase one in the middle. So that'll be for iron. I think I want six for iron. Like that. And then there's four for copper. And we'll just put splitters in front. Like so. Yeah. Wait, what am I doing? No. Wrong input side. Needs to be inputting from the back. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, did that all build correctly? Seems like it. Um, basically just double clicking. Because the snapping is so nice, we can literally just double click. Sweet. Um, I realize the belt we have cannot support this, but that's fine. And then... And yeah, and then we'll build this guy. Down. Bring our iron up. Um, do I want to get new iron for this? How far is the nearest new iron? 
200 meters that way? Yeah, let's grab that iron. Um, Cause then I can keep all the stuff I currently have produced going. And that's nice. So I don't have to mess with that production. Aren't these like pure nodes or something? No, impure. Oh, they're both impure. That's garbage. Wow. I'm almost not even interested in setting that up. Where's the other iron? Over there. Nuts. Got him. It's up there. Two. We'll see if those are better nodes. I would. I basically I want two two belts worth, two normals worth. 120 a minute is what we're thinking here. Hey, Samarian Hydra! Thanks so much for the raid. How goes it? Ooh, a blue power slug. Just chilling here. Welcome, raiders. What, uh, what were you playing over there? Shout out. Marion Hydra. Are you still doing Greg Tech New Horizons? Looks like you were playing Satisfactory today as well. Awesome. Oh, this is impure. And that's him. Oh my god, they're all impure. That's so annoying. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna settle. <clears throat> I will settle for some impure iron. Ouch. Hey, now. I can't attack you with a chainsaw, but Xeno Zapper should do the trick. Yeah, we've been playing basically since it came out. I did take a dinner break. <clears throat> That's about it. Dinner and bathroom breaks. I will stop for sleep, though. I'm not doing a 24-hour stream or some madness like that. Missing the portable miner. Okay, we can fix that. We can fix that. Alright. Two miners. And we shall join them on a belt. Merger. It always looks so weird when it goes in at an angle like that. Oh, wow. That looks kind of bad. Not that I will look at this very often, but... Let's at least line it up slightly better. Does the right angle even look good here? Not really. How far did you get, Sumerian? If you're still here. Curious. that we're just gonna ignore. There's the straight line. See, there's that weird straight line thing again. I don't know why it gets all up in arms. All right, get out of here. So you had basically made the space elevator but hadn't done the phase one parts for it yet. Did you get Blade Runners? Here's another hog. They are just everywhere up here. Good news is, I see a power slug. Okay, you were working on smart plates. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, the Blade Runners are great. They're so fast. You got cast screws as the alt recipe? That is nice. That is very nice. Will that just go over there, or is that too far? Damn, it's too far. No! 
It feels... Feels close enough. Very... Hmm. I wonder if I can... Here, let's extend... Extend this out. Just a smidge. And then what if I get the belt... All the way to the... Oh, okay. All the way to the edge here. Still doesn't reach. Come on now. You can do this. Really? I vastly overestimated how far belts could be. That's too long? Okay. At this point, I wonder if I come down. If that'll be enough of a difference. There it is. And then I delete these and call it a day. A little wonky, maybe, but I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, the conveyor lift would bring it down, and I guess that would make it a little shorter, but I still think it would be too far because of distance. Anyway, I need power up there now, which is the next problem to fix. Uh, this is actually convenient, though, because this will allow me an easy way to get up and down. Um... Targeting that power pole over there is not the easiest thing I've ever tried to do. Oh, that's because I have the wrong thing selected. There we go. Sweet. Okay, well, that'll make it really easy now to get from one place to the other. So there's that. And then power poles. Realize I didn't take the straightest line here. That's okay. Alright, power up the miners. And is there more iron, like, really close to here? Uh, there is some more right over there. Okay. So w once uh, we get Mark II belts, we can go grab that iron and bring it over here. Because this is only going to be... 60 a minute, which is so slow. So once we have Mark II belts, this belt will only be half full. Uh, Strudel, uh, things are going quite well. I would say we are doing good at avoiding spaghetti so far. I'm quite impressed with how we've done. Mostly just straight lines and effective factory solutions so far. Um, this is gonna be my iron smelting, that'll be copper smelting, and we're working on our first, uh, reinforced plates over there. So that's what's going on right now. Um, I will... Go ahead and merge. Because of how close you can make these now, I feel like it almost might be easier to just do two mergers. I don't normally do it this way, but, you know, mix it up once in a while, I guess. Technically, a manifold would be better, but that's cool, too. Oh, these should be the straight line. Also, Strudel, we got Blade Runners. As you can see, we're jumping around like a maniac now, which feels pretty good. Alright, there we go. Straight lines. Much better. Okay, and then the iron it needs to come over. And we're smelting. These are the wrong recipes. Two for iron plates. So 
those splinters. I guess I'll leave a gap just like I did for the smelters. I wish there was a way. I know I'm really uh, mincing. Is it <sighs> like I wish there was a way to make it do to put the corner in the other spot when you're doing the right angle version? That would be kind of nice because I kind of want it to turn first and then come straight at it, which I guess I could manually create that by doing this and then that. Yeah, I like that better. Um, and I don't believe in supports for short belts that are low to the ground. So I will delete it. Okay. Are you all yeah, iron? You're not. So, iron, iron. Aaron earned an iron urn. Um, okay. There's that. You guys are plates. Support your short belts. They need love, too. Um, we gotta power all this up, so I'll do one per pair because otherwise I'm building extra power poles for no reason. Build another one here, because that's going to be a popular area, I feel. I don't believe in gravity. No, I don't. Gravity is a suggestion. A mere afterthought. Alright, so that's good. I think? Yeah, I was about to say, I think iron should be showing up someday. Uh, and here it is, coming, creeping down the conveyor belt. Yeah, Sumerian, I do that sometimes, but it does require building twice as many, so sometimes I just go with the uh, one one each method. And that will give us our... whatever that's called. Do I have the stackables yet, by the way? Um, no, that's the next upgrade. I need 50 reinforced plates for that, right. That's why we're doing this. Congratulations, Dave, on phase one being completed. You've done it. You are now an official fix-it engineer or something like that. I don't know. So I think if I do a merger here, you know, I might not even need a merger, now that I think about it. Because I can just do this. And that. And that's perfect. And then I need three making wire. So I will need... I <laughs> bet can wait. Phase two won't complete itself. So true. Truer words have never been spoken. Uh, let's do mergers here. that belt's trying to do. Hold on. We gotta look closer at this. Look at this. This is... <laughs> just a little just a little ribbon twist in the belt. That's so funny. Yeah, straight mode does not like to be coerced into doing odd things. Um, that's really funny, actually. Okay, we'll just go up. Over. Somehow, I managed to line those up like perfectly 
I don't know how that worked. But it did. And that one. That's not straight. Can I make you a straight belt? I cannot. I need to move that back. Splitter. There we go. Okay. You guys need to be wires. Just say no to non-Euclidean belts. First we say no to gravity, then we say no to Euclidean geometry. We are just rejecting all conventional science and wisdom. Right now. And I love it. GT and age, the amount of work you have to do to set this all up feels so small and easy. I love it. GT and age was so much work to play, to put it bluntly. It's very nice to not have to deal with all that. Um, I built lots of extra space into this. I, I might have actually done too much space, to be honest. Um, I, don't know. I know that you can never have too much space, but I might have done too much space. Look at all this empty space. I can build catwalks over the empty space, though, so that'll be, that'll be nice. Okay, now I need to bring copper up here, by the way. I haven't done. But the iron is here. That's good. Uh, let's get power set up. That's why that's not running, in case you were curious. Because I was. Alright, did we do it? I think we did it. Yep, there's plates coming out this end. And plates going in here. And so all we need to do is hook up copper. Let's see, where's another copper node? Is that one? And then there's one way 400 meters that way. So what I'm gonna do for now, cause this doesn't even need, I don't think this needs a whole copper belt. to position this so that we can just bring the copper up. Alright. So then we just need a little doodad here. Copper over. Oh, everything got real dark. Yeah, I don't know anything about technological journey with uh, Minecraft stuff. Now this is a splitter right here, so I could just do this, and I think I shall. Yes, copper ore. Perfect. All right. Now I do need a way to get up there with my little zip line. I'll do that. Hello. It, man, it feels... I feel like they nerfed the zipline just a smidge. It's still good, but... It's not quite as good as it used to be.
like the little the little lock distance feels a little bit a little bit shorter. All right. Oh, that's not connected to power though. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you can connect to nothing. It seems. Edison, what are you talking about? Uh, practice, practically free placing in what? All right, these need to be configured for copper. Yeah, being able to, to splice the power towers together, or the, what are these called? Power poles? Yeah. It's so cool. I mean, it's crazy and you, not only does it let you build poles where you didn't have them before, it lets you move the wire, right? If you didn't like that wire connection, well, I can do that, and now it's, you know, a completely different line. It's really cool. Really sweet. I, I didn't even know that you could do that. That was there in Update 8, too, apparently. But... Now, if all went according to plan, I'm actually good to go now. Where's the power connection on these? On the left side there? Okay. We'll do a power pole. Yeah, right on that corner should be fine. here, maybe. Uh, yeah, Sumerian, the, the biomass burners having the belt input is new. And exciting. Now that? Oh. Now they should have power. There we go. Sweet! We're doing it! Reinforced plates! So then, for now, I will just throw those into Le Storage Container Extraordinaire. Oh, are you talking about aligning in this game? Are you talking about aligning foundations such that if you started building the foundations in completely different areas, they stay aligned to the global grid? I think that's what you're getting at. Um... Is there a global grid with these, or is there not? I can't remember. I think there might be a mod for it. That sounds like the kind of thing a mod would do. If a mod could do it, I'm sure someone made a mod for it. Because, um, yeah, a lot of people care a lot about that sort of thing, because then you can start building bases in two different places, and you can eventually bring it together. Okay, so there is a global grid, and you hold control to snap to it. Gotcha. Perfect. Yeah, it says snap mode, hold left control, but that doesn't... Back to talking about new players. Uh, that does not tell a player what that actually does. That just shows you that it's snapping. Um, so I did not snap to my... Uh, yeah. This factory floor is not aligned. It's off by one rotation. And positionally, obviously. But. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Gaming Strudel. Exactly. Uh, wow, we have a lot of copper wire. And I did not mean to grab all of it. I just wanted a few stacks here. All right, sweet. So let me go grab some more rods, which it's so, uh, I think for now I am gonna turn off. We'll experiment more with it when we have full indoors stuff. Um, but I just, streaming is already something where you don't want things to be too dark. 
And I just don't think we want the level of darkness that Lumen is creating for our factory right now. Okay. We should be getting some reinforced plates, right? Yeah, 18 already. Bada bing, bada boom. So I need 30 more. I will do a little bit of handcrafting just to speed this up. Oh, I think I forgot to take a, a screenshot for the last episode. I can't remember. Shoot. Oh, I'm gonna have so many screenshots. I'm not gonna remember which one goes with which episode. <laughs> I need to start taking notes on these, since I'm doing so many episodes in one stream. I'm gonna forget what goes with what. So episode one was like basic iron smelting. Episode two was the copper setup. Episode three, I don't know. Episode four was last episode, which was the quality of life stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously I know what order they go in based on the the file uh, time. And then the files auto name themselves based on the time, so. So that's easy enough. It's more just like, I don't remember what I did in that episode. And which screenshot Milestone goes reached. with which Fix it would like to remind order. you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not Aww. count towards work hours and will put you on the list. The list? Stay naughty efficient. list? Don't disappoint, fix it. I don't want to be on the naughty list. Oh no. But now we have Mark II conveyors, which go so much faster. Look at them fly. I mean, what's crazy is like they're already fast enough to provide a significant speed boost, you know, if I like. Uh, do the zoomies. I feel like it's really the, um... Oh, you can build it up to start. That's what's going on here. Okay. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um... But yeah, we'll have zoomies now, is what I'm getting at. And... Is this enough iron? Yes. Yeah. Right now I have exactly 60 iron coming in. And so that's just the right amount. Did I forget to connect this? I did. Thankfully it didn't matter in this case, but uh, it's important. Okay, so copper needs to be a Mark II belt. Oh no! Power went out. I knew that was going to happen. We need to work on that next. Uh, there's more bauxite right there. I don't understand why there are bauxite rocks. Um, just because bauxite isn't one of those exotic materials that you research. So what's the purpose of having that? I don't know if I quite understand. Get it. Um, keep placing these. Okay, I think those are powered up. I clicked all the right things. And then you go to there. And then we need biofuel. So I have some in my inventory already. Let's just split that and then put 15 in each. Let's 
Start it back up. Ta-da! Now, we need probably a second... What do I need? I need the Mark II belt. That's what we talked about. I need that right here. Um, there and there. And that alone should double our potential without changing anything. Yeah, because that makes way more than I could ever use. And so we'll have a full 120 a minute of biomass. So now this will actually be the full 60 per minute of biofuel, which could supply up to 15 biomass burners. Perfect. Okay, and just to be safe, let's go cut a few more trees. So that we can make sure... Oh, I got rid of all my biofuel, though. Must, I must fetch a bit. Uh, take that, split it. There we go. Oh, I like that equipment's kind of just naturally up here at the top. That's handy. Let's do some chainsawing. Rip the headphone users. We'll have it turned up. And the fact that it gets a whole area when you when you chop it is so nice. It just goes so fast. Alright, let's get this stuff over here. like we have another native to convince to leave the, the mortal realm that is we got impure iron impure iron freaking impure everywhere oh my gosh speaking of impure everywhere is this more impure iron sheesh one two three four that adds up to one pure node. So I guess that's something. <laughs> it's so much extra power from mining though. I guess miners don't take that much power. How much power do they take? Um, five megawatts, yeah, that's not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, six impure iron nodes all right there is still a decent amount, I will say. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot an important part of uh, automating these. I'm glad I came back here. <laughs> there we go. That should actually make it work properly. And then I may have to manually intervene again because I am manifold filling. I'm not filling with even distribution, so that means it's going to fill the earlier ones first, and the later ones might not be getting enough at all. And so, we'll see. Because I have enough, we said for 15. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six times two, I have 12. So it's kind of close to constant usage of this guy. So the manifolds will take a while to fill, is what that means. So like these ones on the end are liable to run out, potentially. We'll see. Definitely am looking forward to pull power. We're not quite there yet. 
Let's go ahead and work on smart plating. I'll need rotor. Maybe I should automate rotors first. Um, wait, did the power just go out? Oh. Oh, they're just not running constantly. I see. Okay, I was confused. I thought they were uh, running out of power. They're just powering down. Naturally. Okay, so I've got 80 rips, which feels good. That's still not going to be enough, though, for bringing the copper at high speed, but we'll get there eventually. And why don't you make rotors here? Oh, I, I actually need rotors. I need to do some handcrafting with rotors. Which I can't do because... Oh, I can't. It's right there. Okay. Ugh, screws. So I'm gonna need to use iron rods and screws in one three constructors total. I'm not sure about the rates. We'll look at that here in a second. All right, and then I can turn the power slugs into power shards. I should do that. And then do I research the other one? I forget what I needed. Uh, I already did that. Okay. So I can do this one. Research overclocking. Ta-da! Overclocking development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Mm -hmm. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. Yeah, it does. Okay. So. Sometimes I just like to space buildings out by one building width. That feels right to me. So these go at four a minute. They're quite slow. Um... And they need a hundred a minute on what am I looking for? Screws. I need two and a half. And you needed twenty a minute, which is one and a third. I need two and a half of those. And each of those needs how much making rods? two-thirds. Two-thirds times five halves is ten tenths. Two-thirds times five halves is ten-sixths. Just five-thirds. Which is just two. So I need two making iron rods for the amount of screws that I need. Which will run three of them. Okay, yeah, I already knew that. <sighs> so I need four plus a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So technically, I could probably scrape by with three rod makers. Um, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to work unless I route the rods, extra rods around. Try it this way. And I think I can use this iron supply. We just need a Mark II belt here. Upgrade these to the Mark II by default. Oh, and I have the stackable lifts now. Yes. Um. 
What hotkey do I make you? Seven? Maybe? That's nice. Okay. So that one can be marked one. This can also be Mark 1, and that should get me to full belts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Amazing how one thing of rotors is actually insanely expensive. Um. Yeah, five rods and 25 screws, which is like another six rods. It's like 11, 11 iron per rotor, basically. Okay. So these three will make rods. Yeah, that's a little too tight. I don't like that. I'm gonna move these forward. I'm gonna go... Like, there. and then a set of mergers. So here's my thought. My thought is we can... We need Mark 1 for this. I think. Because the most these can do is 15. So is 45 iron rods a minute enough? I think we concluded it was, right? Is each rotor... Well, 45 a minute would mean 25 a minute going to screws. So that is exactly the amount. 20 of the rods go here. And 25 of the rods go here. So that means, yeah, that means we can just put a splitter here, actually should work fine. The ratios will be a little off until the manifold fills, but it should be fine. Because then we do splitter, and it inputs from the back, like this. all connect up but then we've got another output here which will just be the rods themselves right and so the rods themselves come over to here and then we have merger and this will need to be a mark two belt for the screws I've got the wrong... That's a merger. I need to be coming from this one. That's why it wasn't making sense. Uh, 
Um, I don't really like that. I think. Oh, and I have the wrong mark. Conveyor belt. I'm going to waste so many on accident. Maybe I should go back to the other one. Oh, see, I just did it. Those are my two belts. <sighs> and you can upgrade belts, but you can't downgrade belts. Wait, no, that's a Mark 1 belt. Never mind. This is the one that needs to be marked. From there, because 40 a minute. As soon as we have two of them on the same belt, it will be more than the 60 a minute that a single Mark 1 belt can handle. Okay. So how can, how can we tell the difference? Let's get good. So one of them is the, the texture of the lines. They're straight across on Mark 1s, and they have a little bit of a ripple on the Mark 2. And the little railing on the Mark 2 is quite a bit taller. You know, to keep things from flying off the edges, presumably. And weirdly, it has less lights, but bigger on the side. You have three little lights. Okay, well, anyway, um, let's get this powered up. Oh, see, this is a good example of actually building the power pole right actually on the wire. So that, because I don't like wires going like past the power pole, it should connect to that power pole. Alright, um, power. Gotta get iron over here. Which we already looked at. This guy right here. How many squares up? I haven't measured any of this yet. Like, how many squares up is it by default when we do that? One, two? That's kind of a default of two. Okay. up one, then that'll be like three squares. No, but that looks uphill now. Interesting. So the, the squares there are bigger than the... I say squares, I mean like notches. Like when I build and I go up one, that's less. So that's probably equivalent to three. Is that perfectly flat? Yeah, that's perfectly flat. Or at least extremely close to perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we are almost there. Do our final splitters here. And we want Mark 1s. Oh gosh. That might be a little too smushed in there, actually. For my taste. It's weird, they don't always line up with the same amount of smushedness. Is that what I just did? Or further. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm building Mark II's. <sighs> Whatever. 
I'll have infinite reinforced plates someday. It's fine. See, even that one, I'm building a Mark II. I'm gonna go back to being Mark I by default. I think I'm gonna get used to that. Or I'm not gonna get used to that. Might have done it. I've got nope, this this part's not done. Oh, is that already did those were already half done, I guess. So now we've got all the iron rods going in. Half of them are going to make screws. Half are going out that way. Screws are being made. They're all flying over here. Everything's powered up. We're probably going to run out of power. No, we're OK on power for now. Sweet. And then we need one more assembler. Over here. And you're gonna be our smart plating guy. And we are going to take both of our outputs here. Oh my gosh, I'm out of iron plates. Well, we can fix that. Be a big pile of them right here. Nope, that's rods. I got plenty of those. There we go. All right. Uh, we jump right over. Oh, I love the Blade Runners. So nice. All right. And then at least for now, I can just put my. containers stuff next to each other wait did I make a merger here that was supposed to be a split Those are not aligned. Okay, so now we're keeping half the reinforced plates and half the rotors for ourselves. Which again, yet another time where I actually want to put a limit. Though in this case, I don't need to put a limit yet just because I only need half of what I'm making uh, to go to smart plating. So the ratios actually work that half is enough. But if I wanted more than half, we would have a problem. You do have to have it out. If you've hidden your stuff, clicking doesn't bring it back. I guess you can scroll to bring it back. Okay. Anyway, our first smart plating is produced. And... Let's do... Here. Mm, 
suspicious. Let's just keep it like that. Uh, where's our input? Nearest input. There we go. Phase one is on its way to completion. Sweet. 25 minutes from now, assuming I don't run out of iron or copper, which, let's be honest, probably one of the two is going to happen. My copper might be too slow to keep up with the stitched plate production, because I'm only getting some percentage this direction. Though those are backed up. So actually, it all might back up soon, and then 100% of the copper will be this way. More than we need. Because I think I'm only using. How much am I using? Those are 30 a minute. But I've got two of these running. Two of these is 75 wire a minute, which is 37.5 copper ingots per minute. So yeah, basically not that much. A little over half a belt. Okay. The Mark One belt, that is. I should specify. So, what about iron? Iron is definitely not enough. So, iron we need to... We need to add on. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split... Because these are normal nodes. So I'm going to split this normal node into basically two impures. Is what this will accomplish. Um, and that means all the stuff I've got down here that's kind of bootstrapping my base, like plates and rods and all that, we'll just be making them at half the speed. But that's still, they've backed up so much at this point that that's more than enough speed. And then I'm going to put a merger up here. And I'm going to upgrade this to Mark II. And we're going to have a lift, Mark one. Yeah, okay. Let's build backwards, actually. Okay. So now we'll have two belts of iron coming together right there. And then it'll need to stay Mark II for a minute. Until it gets past... Technically, I think that would be it. I'll do one more just uh, in case. Because each one of these is taking out 30. So that'd be 120. So this one would only hold 90. In fact, this one would only hold 60. So I actually, okay, yeah, I built more segments than I needed. But yeah, if we watch here, this should turn into a fully saturated Mark II belt. I think. I hope. There it is. And that should run all of this at full speed. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'd say that's kind of our first advanced factory stuff done. Certainly more complicated than the other steps were. And that'll get us a good amount of reinforced iron plates because I'm making way more than we need for the smart plating. I'm, 
making basically 11 a minute, and I'm only taking two a minute for smart plating. It will have to back up, unfortunately, so there will end up being a whole stack of uh, reinforced plates in there. We could, if we wanted to make it slightly better, um, like it's uglier, but I could do another splitter here, and then a merger here. Like that. And then now only half of it's going that way, and then only half of that's going that way, so only a fourth. And a fourth of 11 is two and, a, two and three quarters or whatever. So still enough, but it won't fill up the manifold as fast, but it'll still fill up eventually after so many hours. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so this is looking good. Um, not really sure. What should we do next? Feeling pretty good about the factory. What I should do is get a picture. Um... Organization, lookout tower. Climb up this bad boy. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice screenshot of the old factory. And then, I don't think I got a screenshot for last episode, but I'm not sure what to, what do I screenshot? My Blade Runners? I don't know how to screenshot Blade Runners. Maybe we can take a picture of all the quartz on the belt down here. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a picture of the quartz. Something like that. All right. Got to get a nice cinematic screenshot, you know? Okay. So that being done, I actually should switch this over to quartz crystals. Because those are what we need to build stuff. Um, I don't need too much silica, I don't think. Can I do anything else in the MAM? Shatter rebar, that sounds pretty cool to be honest. Um, I need 150 rebars though. So let's craft, oh, that's not here. Rebars equipment. Let's craft a few more rebars real quick. And we'll see if Shatter Rebar does a bunch more damage than the normal. If it does, I might switch over to using it. The stun rebar that Caterium gives us is cool, but it does less damage, so I don't think it's, you know, something you would just use instead of regular rebar. But for certain enemies, I assume the stun rebar would be nice. I could even see the stun rebar being useful to have as one weapon, and then you bring the machine gun to do the killing. I could see that being a thing. Because it says it stuns them for five seconds. So if, if, if it would stun like an alpha, you know, spitter for five seconds, you could unload a lot of hurt on it in that five seconds. So that's pretty nice. Okay, that's plenty. And then I don't know if I have enough quartz crystal. Actually, was it 30 or was it 50? Uh, it was exactly 30. Perfect. Ta da! Shatter rebar unlocked. These quartz infused rebars fracture when fired, launching deadly debris in a widespread. The damage is three. Fix it does not condone the use of such violent methods, Rather than so make two. sure there are no witnesses. <laughs> make sure there are no witnesses. Don't worry, I will not let the aliens witness me. But yeah, that's uh, pretty nice. Does extra damage, so that'll be a little bit of an aid when we're out doing stuff. And then, can I do anything else with the alien proteins? 
Oh, power pole mark two. We can almost do that. I just need to get the Caterium. If I get a thousand cable, I get more inventory slots for my trouble. That's pretty handy. The protein inhaler. Oh, sweet. 200 silica. Done. Six more inventory slots. Love it. Pocket dimension now extra dimensionalized with additional dimensional capacity. Yo, dog. We heard you like pocket dimension, so we dimensionized your dimensional pocket so you could have more dimensions in your pocket. Uh, yeah, so 300 quick wire. I unfortunately don't think I made that much. No, I have more than 300. We're good. Uh, so I can do that one. Power pole mark two steel. unlocked. This provides additional power connections compared to the power pole mark one. Oh, weird. It switches from power pole mark one to mark two to power line. So that uses twice as much concrete and iron rod, which is not that really not that big of a cost. And then it uses six quick wire. And that has how many connections? Seven. Oh, that's a lot more connections. And I know I've talked about this before, but seven is more than double the connections of four. If you look at it in the way that I tend to look at it, which is power pole connected to another power pole connected to another power pole. You end up only having two connections left on these power poles that are chained together. Whereas with the Mark IIs, I will have five connections left, which is more than double. So that's my thinking there. I probably will keep a stack of quick wire in my inventory then. Um, because then we get more. Whatchamacallit. No, I don't have a summer sloop yet. I could go looking for one. But yeah, let me grab... I don't have 500 steel beams, but we'll get another hand equipment slot once we do that. That's nice, but let me go grab a bunch of cables. Seven more than four. <laughs> yeah, that is a cracking the cryptic knowledge bomb. And saying something like seven is more than double four is also exactly something Simon would say <laughs> and then laugh about it because it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> hear lots of lots of things like that on cracking the cryptic i love that channel uh for those who are watching and don't know what that is it's a puzzle youtube channel um they do mostly variant sudokus and they're two different hosts i personally like the guy named simon a lot so i mostly watch his videos but they're both great and they do variant sudokus of varying difficulty Pocket some are easy like you could do them expanded. some are really I hard like afternoon i can't analyzing do them. the trans-dimensional configuratory um, permutations of alien dna to achieve this we are all doing our part for fix it i'm doing my part um but yeah if you're interested in variant sudoku i highly recommend it and if you don't know what that is it's sudoku with extra rules that often relate to numbers Again, that sounds stupid. Sudoku relates to numbers. Um, <laughs> but more so, um, so Sudoku is an interesting puzzle. And I know I need to be done with this YouTube video. We're already an hour and 15 in, but here we are. Classic Crydex. Uh, Sudoku is interesting because even though it's a game with numbers, the numbers are meaningless. It could be a game with nine symbols. It could use the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I think that's that nine letters. Um, you could just use nine letters and Sudoku would play out exactly the same way, right? So the, the numbers themselves actually don't mean anything other than they're just representing a specific symbol. You know, the one you have to have so many ones, ones can't go with ones. But the fact that it's actually the digit one doesn't mean anything. And most of the variant rules actually care about the digit. And that's what I like about it, is it actually, it, it kind of makes it feel a bit more mathematical and interesting. So one of the more common ones is like the uh, cages. So there might be a cage around four cells and it'll have the number like 20 in the top left. And that means all the digits in that cage have to add up to 20. And now 
a five and a four are not interchangeable, right? If they have to add to 20, now the numbers matter. Whereas in normal Sudoku, the numbers don't tend to matter. Now that space tick is in the exact, I already killed one in that spot and now there's another one in that spot. They seem to get stuck right here. So maybe I can build this conveyor differently. Um, I don't even know how, maybe I do it like this. And then those stupid things won't get stuck here. Cause I already, I killed one in between episodes <laughs> that was stuck in that same spot. Uh, but yeah. So, anyway, Variant Sudokus are great. Highly recommend it. Uh, Cracking the Cryptic is a great channel. I actually had one of my, I got into setting Variant Sudokus, and I had one of my puzzles featured on the channel. Uh, so that was exciting. Exciting stuff. I was actually pretty proud of the one that got featured. It ended up not being quite as good as I thought it would be, because the solve path Mark ended up solving it, and the solve path that he took was a little bit kind of adjacent to the one I had hoped for, which means, you know, when I was setting it, I, as a not super skilled Sudoku player, didn't find some of those other things. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, the title is Thermobands. So it was, a, it was a mixture of the thermometers and Rin band lines. And yeah, I've, I've set quite a few other ones. Uh, I think there's a, uh, in my Discord, the Crydania Discord, there's a Sudoku Corner channel where I've linked some of the different ones that I've set. It, it's surprisingly fun to set Sudoku. So there have been phases where I get really into it and then I get out of it as I do with things. But anyway, I should probably call it quits for this YouTube episode. I am still going to be streaming at least for one more episode, though. So if you're on, if you're here live, stick around. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about all the things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.